Okay, so why do I have, the question is, why do I have to get to a state of desperation before I'll do the spiritual work? Sort of, why can't I be sensible? Well, uh, if the ego has a vested interest in something that's significant, uh, usually uh, a spiritual seeker just will not put in the work until it gets really bad. That's because of the amount of energy and work that's required uh, to get rid of something. Uh, it's just um, it's a little bit like in the addictions groups, AA or whatever. Um, you know, usually they, they won't come in when the problem's mild. They'll come in when the problem's really, really bad. And that's because... Um, the, the ego i mean the ego doesn't want to give up the addiction so it's your spirit that's calling you to do the spiritual work but usually um you won't listen to the spirit until you know the ego suffering of that whether it's alcohol drugs or whatever it is um it gets really really bad so then the willingness comes the spiritual inspiration comes to do the spiritual work and to and to clear it and the ego will often fight tooth and nail so it'll often try and say, look, go back to it wasn't that bad. So um, so in that, I mean, it's just the way the, the ego is wired up. Um, the ego doesn't want to do any spiritual work. Uh, it wants to live on, it wants to tell you that illusions are true. So it's like, if I have a clean room, you're going to be happy ever after. If you uh, get the girl, you'll be happy ever after. If you um, become extremely wealthy you'll be happy ever after and he wants to tell you uh, he also wants to be in the head all day long daydreaming so uh, as far away the one thing it doesn't want you to do is to do spiritual work and in fact um, uh, the ego the deepest fear is to disappear and, and and to be lost so that you're in those infinite states of flow and bliss forevermore that's the last thing it wants because it wouldn't exist any longer it would uh, you'd have to give up the illusion that your ego is a source of life. So it's it in the vested interest. I mean, the ego is not going to tell you. It's going to say, no, actually, the alcohol is really helping you. It's helping you to function. Uh, you actually perform better with alcohol. It might have some bad effects, but they're so mild, don't worry about it. And then it gets worse. And your ego goes, you know, you can't really give this up. You won't be able to function or die without alcohol. And then it gets really, really bad. And, the, you know, you know, this is a spiritual answer. And now it's like you you no longer, you're fed up with your ego. You know, it's telling you a load of bullshit. And so you start the spiritual work and you have enough pain uh, to do it. So your ego is not voluntarily. Um, I mean, there probably are people who uh, have not, not had much spiritual pain and are naturally attracted to doing spiritual work. But I would say if you look at a past life, they probably had pain at some point which means they're now developed as a spiritual seeker so they naturally like doing spiritual work because they might not you might not see that they had pain in this lifetime but they had pain in another lifetime although because this world is a world of temptation you know all the adverts all the people are just trying to hook you into the illusions uh, it's not really a world where you, you sort of see buddha on every billboard and quotes and everyone's talking about being in the flow is that's not this world so the world is trying to snare you it's an ego-based world so to um most people go through a lot of pain before they're willing to look for something beyond the illusions and the ideas of this world and to, to pursue the spiritual pathway